Hello, and welcome to VTC's course on Ubuntu Linux. My name is Chess Griffin. This course is going to be about the Ubuntu Linux distribution. We will begin with a definition of Linux, a Linux distribution, and free software. We will then talk about Ubuntu Linux itself, including its background and the company behind Ubuntu Linux, and we'll also discuss where to go for help once this course has been concluded, including community forums and other similar websites. We will then discuss Ubuntu Linux itself, including how to obtain Ubuntu Linux for free, including downloading an ISO, receiving a free CD shipped in the mail, or purchasing a CD from a third-party vendor. We will then go through an actual download of the Ubuntu Linux Live CD that can be used side-by-side -side with Windows without disturbing a Windows installation on a computer. We'll talk about how to check that the downloaded CD was not corrupted and how to burn the ISO onto a blank CD-ROM. We'll then boot this live CD on the computer and take a look at the initial boot menu, including the options and help that is available, and then boot into the default desktop environment, which is called GNOME. Once booted into the GNOME desktop environment, we'll take a look around at some of the documents and other things that come with the Ubuntu Linux Live CD that are, can be used to show some of Ubuntu Linux's capabilities. We'll then begin to discuss how to install Ubuntu Linux permanently onto a hard drive and discuss various pre-installation steps that should be considered prior to actually installing the Live CD. We will go through this installation on the hard drive and then reboot into this permanent installation of Ubuntu Linux that can be used side by side with Windows. We'll go to the initial boot menu and the initial login screen and then log in to the GNOME desktop as part of the permanent Ubuntu Linux installation. We will explore the default GNOME desktop, including pointing out the various elements available on the screen, discuss the menus and how to launch an application, talk about virtual desktops, panels, and applets. We will then turn to the Nautilus File Manager, which is the default file manager for GNOME and Ubuntu Linux, and talk about some of its capabilities. We'll also briefly look at the Linux file system hierarchy, drives, permissions, and how to browse your network, including how to browse your other Windows computers that may be on your home network. We'll talk about how to customize your Ubuntu Linux installation, including how to change the background, how to change the theme, how to create your own theme, create desktop shortcuts, customize panels and applets, and changing font preferences. We will then discuss the menus in quite some detail and take a look at the Applications menu, the Places menu, and the Systems menu and begin to examine some of the tools and applications that come with Ubuntu Linux. We'll begin this application overview by looking at configuration tools, including those tools in the Preferences menu and the Administration menu, and then turn to some multimedia applications, including audio applications, video applications, and image editing and photo applications. We will wrap up the application discussion by taking a look at OpenOffice.org, a large productivity suite that includes a word processor, a spreadsheet, and a presentation program. We'll then talk about how to add new software to your Ubuntu Linux, how to add software repositories to enable you to download new software from the Internet. And we'll also discuss some third-party applications that are available for free that can help you set up the most commonly used applications. We'll also take a look at the terminal, the command line interface, and discuss some basic commands that you may need to use while using Ubuntu Linux. And we will conclude with a discussion of how to run certain Windows applications in Linux using software provided by the Wine Project, Crossover Office, and Sedega for 3D games. Thank you very much.